everybody. Welcome back to another Create With Me. Today I thought we would take one of Tracy's kits. Tracy Fox, who if you're not familiar, I'm sure you are. Um, she is Love Junk Journals on Etsy. Um, Tracy's got some beautiful kits and um, they're great for coordinating um, with her own, you know, kits or other designers. So today I thought I would show you, we'll sit down and do one of the um, file folder and put that together and we'll just um, tweak it slightly because I love using these. You guys have probably seen me um, use these in the past so I thought today this would be a great time to just jump on here and let's create one together. So let's get started. So I've printed out the kit and this is what you're going to get with it. Now some of these I have, I've already cut into um, this page. And so <clears throat> we'll get going and see, you know, sometimes I, I take, I might not use everything from the kit um, because I like to kind of, you know, tweak them slightly. So we'll just make one today and then you can decide how you want to do it. Because it's another one of these, um, these are beautifully um, added, you know, you can fill them out with ephemera. And it's a great place, you know, if you want to start a little file folder for yourself. Um, it's a great little way to store some bits of ephemera. Let me get my other little scissors for that corner there. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Beautiful weather here again, which is amazing. I love blue skies, um, and it's the humidity's dropped, which is my favorite kind of weather. I can't stand high humidity. I don't think anybody likes high humidity, but well, I say that they must because people choose to live in places with it, but oh, I don't, I can't cope with it. So this has been absolutely gorgeous weather we're having. Blue skies, nice and cool at night. So, perfect. I wonder if we could choose the ideal climate, what we would choose. Because some people, I think, seem to like the same kind of weather all the time, but I don't. I like it to be, I like the change of seasons and mix things up. Let me just zoom out a little bit, guys. I feel like maybe I'm still trying to get better lighting in here, so I apologize. It's just I want to really, really do some research on um, the best lights for my studio before I buy them. And that's why I haven't done so already, because um, I want to make sure whatever I get is going to be permanent. So, um, okay, let's, let me get my little scoreboard, which I never use. <laughs> I've got this thing at Tuesday morning, and I just never seem to pull it down and use it, so... Sometimes it's easier just to grab your cutter. So just score that down the center there. Oh, when I print mine out, I flip it over and run it back through so that I've got a design on it. You don't have to do that, but I just think it's kind of nice to have um, something you know, on the background, so that's another little tip, guys, you might want to do, because it just really does look very, very nice. All right, so we've got that, so inside these two pockets will be going, so let me just see if I can trim, I know that won't fit in that one cutter, let me grab my big cutter real quick. I 
I've got two little cutters, and the other one I didn't realize wouldn't hold a full-size sheet. I wished I hadn't got that, but it's supposed to be like a portable one, but it's really kind of useless. Let me just trim these off, and then I'll get my little scissors. If you could choose your the weather, what would you choose? If you if you were you know if you could choose the weather for the whole year, would you opt for just a warm climate all the time? See, I think well, I know I'd get bored with it because we we lived in uh, South Georgia and Florida for so many years. And it just, I don't like it. You still get cold snaps, obviously, but it's, it wasn't enough in my, for my <coughs> liking. I, I like the change of seasons because every season you've got something different to look forward to. And save all these little off cuts, guys, because, um, there's lots, lots of little things you can do with them. Okay, so let me just score this quickly and we'll get these down. I love these kinds of projects because... Um, it adds a lot to the uh, the journal. <clears throat> okay, so before I start cutting anything out, so I'm going to go ahead and get these down. That way, they can um, the glue can be drying. Here we go. I know I'm going to want that to be the opening, so I'm going to I'm going to put that one there. So, has anybody got any plans? Big trips planned for the summer? If you do, I'd love to know what your plans are. We are, uh, we're not going to be doing too much this year, I don't think, because I need to go home soon and uh, visit my dad and my daughter and son-in-law. I'll have to make that journey on my own, because... We um, we can't really afford for both of us to to go back. So, but other than that, and I don't even know when I'm going to be doing that. It's I still haven't quite worked it out. But I, yeah, I'd love to hear about everybody else's adventures. It's it's always exciting to read what other people are planning to do and you can kind of in your mind think oh wouldn't that be nice oh you can go kind of in your mind on the journey with them as so I've, I've spoken about Brian on Adventure Van Man who's on YouTube many times this is why I enjoy his channel because um, I kind of live my life vicariously through him because he's doing all the things I want to be doing <laughs> and I can't I can't do at this point um, 
like I said, now this is optional whether you want to um, print on the back of this. I just think it's kind of nice, you know, rather than it being white. It just gives a, a little bit more interest within it. And this is one of Tracy's designs. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful design on that. Okay, while I'm thinking about it, let me ink this up. I think I better get my um, ink pad ordered. I keep putting that off. My goodness, every time you get in, I don't know about you guys, every time I sit down in my studio, I think, oh my goodness, I need this, I need that. <laughs> it doesn't ever end. Anybody that says, oh, you know, this is your checklist, that's just so not. It, it, every day you are going to find something that you, you either have run out of or, you know, you've seen somebody on YouTube and they say, oh, you, you've got to have that. <laughs> I still think about that um, that lady. I can't remember who she was that did the hoarding um, about seeing everything and going out and uh, craft hoarding or something like that. Oh my gosh, I never laughed so hard as that. Where she she needed this. She needed that. <laughs> it's so true because. Um, every video you watch, you think, oh, okay, I need that. I mean, the thing I have steered clear of, and I have to say, it's, I want them. I really, really want them, is, you know, the Tim Holtz, um, Distress and, um, Oxide, is it, yeah, Oxide, right? Wait a minute, I gotta check that. why I was thinking it was dioxide I don't know anyways the Tim Holtz oxide inks uh, I, I keep going back and forth do I would I get enough use because this is what I, I have to in my mind I go through this little pros and cons am I going to get enough use to justify it um, because you do you know everybody's got a budget well I think <laughs> I think everybody's got one <laughs> Um, and you have to weigh out, am I going to get enough use to justify the cost of buying those? But oh my gosh, every time I watch Artie Mays, I think, oh, I need inks. Because she works a lot with, um, with inks and sprays. And oh my gosh, I'd love to get into that, ladies little happy place because she must have so much stuff to play with um, how much fun would that be but yeah it's just a real battle because you think oh do I can I justify it you know would I use it and I know I know I would enjoy it but it's finding the time to, to sit down and play I just I've got you know, a few things already that I just am not finding time to use because I've got two, two or three art journals that I never get time to work in them. I had started a while back and was feeling really good that I <clears throat> did a couple spreads following, um, you know, Merrimy. Marami Wall Art. I don't, I'm probably not pronouncing it right. Um, and I felt really good that I had followed and done a couple of spreads. And then life took over again and I, I haven't picked it back up. You know, it's just sitting over on the shelf. And that's why I just don't know about ordering the inks right now. I picked up a couple at the stationery shop and I, I've rarely used those, to be honest. Okay, so you saw me cutting out the little, um, you get two 
little pockets, but I had already used one in another project, so I'm going to put that there. But before I glue this down, I'm going to take um, this is another of Tracy's kits, and I want to add one of these I'm going to make as a little pocket on here. Um, and I will list the um, kit in the description box that I'm using. Well, in fact, I'll list everything I'm using today because <laughs> I have got lots of Tracy's. And the great thing about her kits is they all work so well together. Um, so you'll see there's going to be a lot of stuff I'm using in here and I will try to list all of them guys but just have a good old look around in her shop. So I'm going to go to the machine now and stitch this because I want this to be another little pocket there and I want the stitching so I'm going to run the machine and I'll be right back. Hey guys, there you can see I've run that through the machine and then I want to just get that glued down and then we will start working on some bits and pieces for inside. It's, as you can see, it's really easy. She's made these so easy to create, which is awesome. But just a few little changes and you can make each one of these look so very different. I'm hoping that's, you know, what you can see is that just a little bit of addition and you can make each one of these look very different. Alright, so I'm going to let that glue and we will start thinking about some things inside. Now, <clears throat> gosh, I've got everything buried. Okay, so this doo -doo -doo -doo, was a little element from the um, the Bugs Trifold Tag Kit. And I thought, I really want to make a little booklet to go in here. So we're going to finish this off together. That's why I said um, I'll try to list everything, but I know I'll probably forget some. But you guys, you know, I'll, I'll definitely put the link for this file folder, and then you can have a look around when you get into her shop. She's got some really great bits of ephemera. So I think this would be really cute with some papers and then have that tucked in so that you can jot some notes down. So let me first do something to the cover because I want to make that. I want to make it more me. I like the yellow. That's quite pretty. You know, I love my florals, so I think I'm going to put a bit of lace behind this as well. I think I'm going to sew that, but I'll put a little bit of uh, lace behind it, and I will be back. 
In fact, I'll go ahead and add my papers as well because I'm going to need to cut those. I'm just thinking it, I may as well add a couple of little pockets inside here. So, let me see, see, see. Yeah, those would be really cute. I'm going to put those in as well. It's a good use. I mean, you can just keep going and going and going with this project because you've got those. And then on the back, I always like to put one of the little Tim Holtz photo dies, and you'll see because I'll get that cut out when I when I stop to go sew. I'll come, I'll cut that out, and then you can see what I'm going to do with that as well. Okay. That one actually might be a little bit wide. Yeah, I'm going to have to trim just a little bit off of that one. Just so get a little bit more. Okay, let me get these down. Oh, will it work today? I don't know. so thin to me. It, I don't know if that's right. It seems very thin. And I know when I put that down it's going to ooze all over. So, mm. gosh, me and my uh, troubles with glue, huh? Cosmo seem to be about the best one, really, for the precision, you know, for the really, like these small pockets. you got to have such a thin bead. This is why I often sew, because I can manage that, you know, because what's so frustrating is get that glued and then find you can't even get a tag to fit in there. Um... Oh, nuts! I just realized <coughs> I was going to sew this down. Okay, what I'm going to do, see, so now I'm going to go just sew this so that I, I have the effect of the stitching, and then I'll just have to glue it down. But while I'm off, I'm going to get the Tim Holtz photo die cut out, and you'll see what I'm talking about with that. And, uh, and then I'll go ahead and get my papers put in here so we'll have a little notebook. So I'll be right back, guys! Okay, guys, uh, what I've done is cut my papers out, and then I just, if you've only got a few sheets, you can just do a simple stitch through your machine, but I wouldn't go more than a few sheets because, you know, you, it, it might be a little bit too hard on the machine, but I'm fine with just a few running that down. The only downside, um, to use in the machine is if if you're not that you know good with it you you've got to keep that straight line to keep that on there. 
Um, so I've stitched that. And now I just want to put that. Oh yeah, I wanted to get a bit of lace stuck on it. Okay. Okay, sorry about that guys. I, I just don't like you to have to wait while I'm fumbling around. <laughs> Because my uh, drawers are a mess. And I recently cleaned out the uh, ribbons, but every day, every time I have to dig through it, it's just the same old thing. So I'm just going to do that, I think. I'm happy with that. That's the last of my old lace. Oh, I hate to see that one gone. I really enjoyed working with that piece. So where will it end up in the world, I wonder? This is what I think about when I'm creating stuff. I think, well, okay, I wonder where it'll all end up spending the remainder of its days. How exciting to um, have started out, you know, some of these laces you think about if they could talk or well any piece of vintage if they could tell you the story my goodness wouldn't that be fascinating because you think about I mean in my life I've lost track of the times I've moved and stuff's been taken from state to state and then now to a different country that piece of lace how many families did it go through where did it you know how, where was it ah oh, boggles your mind really must be so fascinating though Okay, so I've got the little booklet done I can come back and make a couple of tags so I I'm gonna just set that to the side because I can always finish this up and this would just turn into a, a really long video. So that will be tucked in there. Now I know I want to have something here. Let me get a I might stamp something I'm thinking. Yep. I'm going to grab some stamp and I will be right back. Ah, okay guys, I knew that um, I had seen some of these. I just had to dig through. Um, but this is part of this um, this kit from Tracy. So I'm going to use this because I want it to stand out. And I think I'll use the botanical one. I might have to trim it down slightly, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is trim this down just a little bit more because what I want is, is that to be seen when I've closed the file folder. So I'll just take off a little bit more of that. Um, Okay, I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to let that dry, but you can see how that's going to look. And with that closed, how cute is that going to be? I'm so sorry about the shadows, guys. I must get this lighting sorted. Okay, so on the back, I was telling you guys this. I think it's called the Tim Holtz Photo Die 
think that's what it is. I like to have that on the back, and then you can tuck little things. Tracy's got tea cards in her shop that have butterflies. She's got florals. And then the other thing she's also got, and I love these. These are old cigarette cards, and these are so cute. So I like to tuck those into it. Um, and then, of course, her little tags she does. So we're going to just take a whole bunch of these little things. But I want to ink this before I glue that on, and then we'll start cutting out some stuff. And this is just um, recycled uh, craft paper I get. And it's kind of, mm, I wouldn't say it's real sturdy, but it's, I don't know what the weight would be, but you know, just something, just some sort of crafty cardstock. I think it looks nice with this. And then when you glue these down, <coughs> If you've never done these before, only do the the outer because um, you you don't want glue within these. That way you can stick little things through. So just put a very small bead of glue. I should have probably used my 3M1 just because it'll adhere quicker than this stuff, but I've already done it now. Alright, and while these are drying, I'm now just going to come back and start cutting some of these. Um, various tags so you guys can see what's going to go in. <laughs> I love these little tags. So, um, I, I don't know if I told you guys this or not, so I was cleaning out my space the other day, and I started, I'll show you, because it's a major, major boo-boo. Okay, so, in the evening, I started fussy cutting stuff, right? And, and I've got these, and I know somebody's going to ask me where I get these from. These I bought in the UK at, like, Staples. So, I'll, I don't know, you'd have to check stationery. Because um, I use these things all the time for my clear stamps. So anyways, <laughs> I started doing this, right? Um, yeah, that's a huge mistake. I won't be doing that, and I'll tell you why. What I've found is now that they're all in there, I can't even find what I'm looking for, so I'm not going to cut things up in advance. Um, if I was super, super organized and had it all, you know, oh, well, this one's just for botanical, this one's shabby chic, that would be great, but I didn't think that far ahead. Uh, and I piled everything together, so now I'm going to use these up, and I won't be doing that now. Um, I just try to keep everything and just cut it as I need it, and it takes a bit longer, you know, because it's nice to have stuff in the evening before you go to bed, just if you're wanting to do a few things. But that was a huge mistake for me, so I'm not going to be doing that anymore. Maybe it works for you, but I don't like that. Um, I just feel like I can't find anything now. So here's the um, the coffee, or coffees, 
cigarette cards and the um, tea cards. Oh, she's got the little birds on there too. I forgot about those. Yeah, I'm sure I've got those in there somewhere. And they, she's got these in all different colors. You can buy, you know, different kits. But these are really, really sweet. So I'm just getting these ready because they're going to be put in here. But the other thing I'm going to do is use another one of these labels across here. Now this Tim Holtz um, photo die does have a little label die as well that comes with it so that you can cut out a label. But why do that when Tracy's provided? That's the way I, I feel about it. And just to add something to this one, let's put a couple of brads. Brads, brads, brads. At one point, I was not really using um, the brads very much, and I thought, oh, I might as well get rid of those. But now I'm. I'm using them a lot more, isn't that? It's funny because you, <clears throat> it's just as soon as you decide you're going to get rid of something, you're going to need it. But luckily, I hadn't gotten rid of it this time. I started using it before I took that step. Those have lasted me ages, those. Okay, there we go. Did a little bit of inking. There we go. And uh, for this one, I'll use the stronger glue because of the metal. I just want to make sure this adheres really well. And actually, you know what? Let me just put a little bit of um, cheesecloth behind it, too. I've tried to start keeping cheesecloth out because, as we've, we all know, if it's out of sight, it's uh, out of mind, so I've been trying to keep a little bit of this to remind myself, oh, you've got cheesecloth, use it. <laughs> I wish I could have everything out to where you could see it. How amazing would that be to have a craft room like some of these you see on Pinterest? I don't think they actually exist, do they? They're just like so perfect. You know nobody's in there creating because if they were that room wouldn't look like that. There's no way. Everything. All the fabrics perfectly folded. The reels of um, lace are, haven't even been open. Oh, It's just all so phony. But my goodness they do look amazing. And at that craft show, you know these ones that you've seen um, that fold up like an armoire so that you don't see it? Um, that company, I forgot what their name was. They were there. My God, I had no idea how much those things were. So I won't be owning one of those in my, in my lifetime. But yeah, they were really, I think they were like, I don't know, like 2,000 pounds. Which I get it, you know. If you are limited in space, it's it, they are amazing. But 
think I won't be. I'd rather I'd rather use the two thousand pounds towards my crafting supplies. Okay, so these I like to um, to glue that on the back, and then I'll have to come back and trim around, um, and then ink it a little bit. I've sometimes have stuck them in as two. Oh boy, this is going to go. I knew that was going to happen. <sighs> um, you don't have to do this. You know, put it on the back, but I, I this time I'm going to. Like I said, sometimes I don't do this. I have them stick it because I think the advertisement looks really nice poking through. But this time I'm going to do it. Oh my gosh, I got way too much glue. Oh, I bet you guys are thinking I really would like to come on here one day when she's not complaining about that glue. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's becoming. Almost as bad as Mod Podge in my world. It's it's um it's just something I'm having all sorts of troubles with. Just ink this a little bit around. I love these little tags. Aren't them sweet? And this one, I'm going to put a little um, thread in there. <laughs> Let's see. Thread, 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 thread. So now you see why you don't want to glue those little strips down. Um, let's see, what else do we want to put in there? Now, let's see. Okay, I'm happy with that actually. Let me just give you a close-up. Let me turn it this way so the lighting's a little bit better. Isn't that sweet? And then you open it up. We've got this. We've got our little notebook here. And in fact, if you wanted, you could have the notebook. That might be kind of cute, actually, just to have it tucked in so that you still got this sticking out. Oh, I kind of like that. Let me see if I can get that. I might put that under a book and let that weigh it down a little bit more. That's kind of cute, actually, like that. Yeah, like that. That's how I'm going to leave that, I'm pretty sure. So, I feel like that needs 
a little something there. And let's make use of some more of these. I think that would be cute as a little pocket. Have a little pocket there. So let me do that. Yeah, I really like this. These these coordinate really nice together. And the other thing I'm going to do Get these tiny little labels, aren't they precious? So I'm going to put one of those in there. And I think um, I've used botanical and lavender, so I'll use the forget me not. It seems too quiet. I'm so used to having um, something on in the background, music or something, but I can't have the music because of the copyright on YouTube. But gosh, it's awfully quiet in here today. Yeah, I like that. That's really sweet there. Let me make a little... Let's put, so the, I'm going to cut that tag out, and that'll be in there, I think. Ah, I've just had an idea. This is how it happens when you're doing stuff, something comes to you, so let's hope. I haven't had time to think this one out, but we're just going to do it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut this out. Oh, I hope this works. I'm, what I got in my mind, oh, it's going to be cute. Cute. Okay, those are, well, they're pretty close in size, aren't they? And, let's see, I've got that one and that one. Let me take, I'm going to take the yellow one again. going to work. Yeah, I think it will. So, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to punch a little hole through there. Then, <clears throat> you know these key tags? Do, do, do. Hang in there. Stay with me. Stay with me, guys. Um, Tracy's got these little 
circle embellishment things. Hang on guys, I got a heck of a mess here. I gotta see what I've done with my punch. <clears throat> so these are little I believe yeah they are. These are little one inch circles. They fit the little punch perfectly. So now my thinking is that little dragonfly I think is going to be very sweet. Let's see if I can get to him. anything that fits a, a punch because oh my goodness so much easier than the, the die cuts but there's pros and cons to all of it they do take up more room those uh, punches do and let me tell you getting them things over here in a suitcase what a nightmare alright so I'm going to take I'm going to take this part of it off and replace that with a bolt pin, I think. The reason I do that is that way you can get this on there and then you can come back and punch it out. But look at that. That fits that perfectly. That's another thing I've got to add to my list. I'm getting low on these. <laughs> oh, gosh. But you know, if you had everything you wanted... You'd have to have a store the size of a football field, and that I'm sure you'd still think, "Well, I need this, I need that." You'd never find anything, would you? I can hardly find anything in my space as it is. All right, so that's punched out. So now, do I want to put that back on? Actually, I kind of like it because it's a little bit. I was going to use a bulb pin, and you can. I have done that. I have swapped them around. <clears throat> but today I'm going to just keep this one on here. And I think it's going to look nice. Now, if you want, you could um, put the um, little metal eyelets. But I'm getting low, and I checked my order. I finally broke down and ordered some, and I don't even know when they're going to arrive here. So, because I like metal. I see, isn't that cute? Then you got your little journaling. Just ink those up a little bit. How are we doing on time? Okay, guys, let me stop right there, and I'll be right back. I'm running out of time with the camera, so I'll be right Okay, guys, hopefully uh, <clears throat> I can finish this off. So I'm just going to do a little bit of inking on the back. I should have done that prior to, but... So that, my thinking with that was just to have that tucked in there. Ah, that's cute. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Look at that. I mean, those, they never do want to lay down, but that's okay. I'm really, really happy with that. Loving how that looks. Just add a few bits and things here. Um, this I'm going to cut out, and then we can fold that. <clears throat> Gosh, it's getting difficult to work here. <laughs> It's all closing in on me now. What a mess when you get done with these projects to have to clean up. Okay. 
I've started covering that glass mat because the reflection was so bad when I was um, videoing, so I thought today I better make sure I've got it all covered because I did one of the <coughs> edited one of the videos the other day and <coughs> realized there was quite a bit bit of the um, mat showing and it just is an awful glare so I thought today I better make sure I've got it all completely covered. Alright, so this one I'm just actually going to fold that so that it'll fit in there. <coughs> And then that'll just be a little bit of extra journaling. That can stick out just a little bit more. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else, what's happening? So as you can see, there's still plenty of room. You can add some more journal cards back here. Um, oh yes, we must do something here, so let me... Let me get a little clip here. Let's get a card. So this is one of the tags that comes with it. I think I'll use that and just do a little bit of embellishing on this one and then very close to having this done. I mean, you can, like I said, you can just go on and on with it and add more and more because they are so much fun to work with. Okay, these are the Vintage Botanical Plates, the number two kit. These are really sweet, so I think I'm going to put one of those on there as well. See what I mean? I mean, you get, um, get started with these, and there's just so much you can do. They all mix so well. Okay, so I'm going to go to the machine and stitch that, but then I think I also want, you get these little pansies you can fussy cut, so I think I'll do that and add that to it as well up there once I've stitched it. I'll add a couple of these. As you know, I love the florals. Put the, this this one and then the white. Actually, I'll do the pink just for the contrast. I think. I'll have that one in the background, and then I'll have the pink on the very top. I think. Nice to have them in threes, I think. So I always tend to go with one, three, or five when I'm doing stuff. So I'm 
trying to keep everything in frame and I'm terrible about going out of frame and then realizing afterwards that I have. Okay, so what, let me go stitch this, guys, and then we'll come back so you can see how that's going to look. I'll probably raise it a little bit so you still got the little detail of the lace. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, I have decided I want to put another of these little labels. I want one on the front here. I feel like it needed something, so I'm going to get that glued down. While that's drying, we're going to finish up our tag and then have a, another look, see if there's anything else that we feel it needs. Okay, so <clears throat> that's how it looks now that it's been sewn. And I love these because they're just a nice like a, you know it's it's like it's a, been a sketched and it's a nice background to build on I think um, <coughs> got some seam binding that I had tea dyed and so I'm going to put that in maybe <laughs> maybe I'm going to put it in <laughs> okay so Let's see. Let's see where we are. I think I'm going to have that up there. And then I think I decided I would go with, with these kind of like that. I like that because it adds some color. Actually, I'll do it this way just to try to have a bit more balance. Yeah, I like those. Very sweet. Very sweet. <clears throat> Okay, so that's how it's come out looking there. And then you can do some writing on the back. Make sure those are in good. Alright, so how's it looking now? So this is how it'll be clipped in your journal um, on a page and then this, oh yes, I need a tiny tag. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Got my little tiny tags. Let me see if I can do something quickly. Um, let's see, I think I'm going to stamp on that one. This is some linen thread. Okay, let me just grab a stamp for this one. That's a little bird, a little bird stamp, so let me just do that. That'll be cute. It ain't going to completely fit on there, but... So there we go. I'll just tuck him in there so he can be just peeking out of the pocket. seeing what's going on. 
Okay, where are we? Let's have another look now. I mean, obviously you can fill all this in. You don't have to stop there. This is just where we're going to, because this I will be adding much more ephemera, because you can see you got a nice pocket there. Um, but I'm loving how that's looking. This, I'm very happy we've got our little, our little tags there. And then this I will do, I will do some more to this for sure. Um, yeah, that one I'm going to do some, something to it. And then on the back you've got all this. I love how that's come out. And then you've got the little, the little label there. Let me make sure you guys can see this. We got, we put this there. That's how that's looking. And then this is our little booklet. And then there's the front. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. As I said, you know, you could carry on, but you get the idea. There's a lot you can do with this um, kit. It's very versatile, and it will work. Um, she's got these in two finishes. The other one's a bit more vintage, grungy, but um, I like this because, you know, I lean towards the lighter, and, and this is can work totally with shabby chic. I mean, rustic country, French country, which is me. Um, so that's why I opted. For, uh, well, actually, I've got both of them. I bought both of them because I love them so much. Um, and they, they just, I've just used them so many times. So check her shop out, and I will see you guys here back very soon. I'm now going to go tackle the cleanup. Oh my goodness, what a mess. I got a mess from this. Just that one project, guys. So I will see you guys here very soon. You take care and make something beautiful today. Bye!